guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another hated video. In this video, we're going to be talking about expansion permits. What are they? What do they do? And I'm going to be explaining everything that you need to know about expansion permits in Haiti. So let's get started. Now, the first thing I cannot do since my crops are still not ready. So let me have a look at the visitors. Today we're having this um, cool double coins um, event for the visitors. And actually, no, I'm just going to send that away. But you know what? I can actually sell her some oranges. Should I sell them? I don't know because I already don't have a lot. So... Plus, I don't even need coins, so you know what? I'm just going to send her away. I'm not really that much interested in this event because for this event, you really have to prepare a lot. So since I have not prepared anything, I will not be playing this event. We're going to collect our honeycombs. Let's have a look at the boat. So, oh my God, I'm just going to... Wait, can I do this boat? Let me... I actually could, you know? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to do it. I don't care. Let's do it anyways. There we go. I'm just going to do this one crate. And, uh, okay, so, oh my god, I'm just going to ask for help on this. It's a very, very difficult boat. Oh my god, I sold tons of tools. Well, we're just going to be advertising my shop, so let's go down and start advertising right here. That's perfect. just going to come over here to collect some of my products that I've been making. And let me see what else is there. This uh, ticket. We're just going to grab some rewards. All right. That's cool. Let's collect some gift cards from here. And I'm just going to collect a bunch of products that I've been making from my machines. As you guys can see, the products are always a good way to get XP. And when you sell them, you actually get a lot of coins. So I think that's it for the moment that's going on on my farm. All right, guys, coming to the main topic of this video, expansion permits. What are they? How to find them? Where can you find them? When do they unlock? So first of all, what are expansion permits? So if you want to have a look at what are expansion permits, go across the road and tap any land that's over here, or especially the land that has some kind of decoration inside it. So once you tap there, you will see it says expand your farm, and on the right side, below the more buildings for your, uh, more area for your buildings, you can see there is a white paper which is rolled, and it is, it has a ribbon on it. So this is what you guys call expansion permit in Haiti, and it also says get from Derby, mystery boxes, are the Wheel of Fortune. So basically, this is what the expansion permit or scroll is, and they are used to unlock or expand the land that has special decorations inside, and there are tons of those kind of lands in the game. Let me just show you guys how much land do we actually have. So for that purpose, I'm going to have to go to some low-level player. So let's go level 32 and show you guys how much land do you have. All right, so if I come over here, so the expansion permit lane starts from right here, as you guys can see, this purple tree, and it literally goes to the whole point. This whole area is going to need a lot of expansion permits, and you're actually going to need expansion permits to open this area. You cannot do that without expansion permits. So expansion permits were added back in March 2017. And honestly, in my opinion, this was one of the most clever ideas Haiti team ever got. Like, to challenge the players, to make the game challenging, this is, I think, probably the best part. Because like, imagine if expansion permits were not added. It would have been so much easier for everyone to open all the land, and people would have stopped doing the work. So I think expansion permits are something that's still keeping the players to go on. They play the derbies, they do all the works just to get expansion permits. And I don't even know a lot of people who have already opened all the land. I mean, I know there are only a few people who have opened all the lands, but they must have spent a lot of diamonds in the game. So that's technically the definition of the expansion permits, that they are um, additional um, kind of like a thing that you're going to use to open all the land with your other land tools, the mallets, the, the stakes, and the land deeds. 
Now, according to Hayde Vicky, you're going to be needing a total of 397 expansion permits to open all your land that's going to need expansion permits. And that is a crazy amount of expansion permits. So originally, the land that was added was only just like a bunch. It was not a lot. But then Hayde team, again, kept adding more land. Maybe they thought that this was like a cool thing, to, you know, to keep the players engaging and keep the players playing the game so that the players don't get bored. So I'm just going to show you guys what kind of land lands were added and when they were added and how much pieces they had. The good thing about these lands are is that there are a lot of cool decorations inside that you can use to, you know, get and then you can decorate your farm. So... Well, I'm not understanding. All right, my game is taking a long time to load. Hello, what's going on? All right, so the first land that was added back in March 2017, it's been almost four years, I remember. And expansion permits are really rare now. But in the past, they were not rare. When they were first added, they were pretty easy to come by. But now they've become really rare. So the land that was first added, it, it started from here. As you guys can see, I, I showed you earlier this purple lightning tree and this wooden heart. And it was, um, I think it was just, just this land. You guys can see this, like, the table with cakes on it, and then this balloon door, and this heart tree. So this was the only land that was first added back in March 2017. The next part of the land was added back in December 2018. So this part of the land that you guys can see a lot of decoration, especially a lot of pots with flowers, uh, the basketball nets. So these pieces were added back in December 2018. And then in October 2019, tons of more land pieces were added. So this whole area that you guys can see that has a lot of cool decorations inside, by the way, especially this blue tractor, this flower tub, the camera. So this whole pieces of land, they were added back in October 2019 with the 80s limit. So I don't know if the, I don't know if Haiti team is going to add more land in the future with these mentioned permits. That's going to be crazy. I hope not. I mean, like if they're going to add, maybe they will add after so many years because I feel like a lot of people still have so much land to open. So if they kept adding more land, then that's just going to ruin the fun. So that's all about the expansion permits and the land. So, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and expand one of the pieces of the land. So you just have to tap on that piece and then boom, just tap there. You go. Your farm expanded. And all right. So that's basically how you do it. And the next question is expansion permits unlock level. They basically unlock at level 25. And now, a lot of people ask me this question, whether they should be focusing on this land or not. Well, I would honestly say yes, because land is something that you should always be focusing on. It's not really optional. Like, if you're so high level, I mean, if you're a low level player, maybe 25, 30, then if you have enough land that's working for you, maybe that's fine. But as you progress in the game, land is going to be your very essential need. So make sure you start focusing on your land and you start, you know, expanding your farm. So I would say that, yes, land is something that's always going to be important. So you should really be focusing on them. And even if you're a low-level player, you should always choose expansion permits whenever you can. So now I'm going to be showing you guys some of the ways that you can get expansion permits in the game. So the two ways that are probably not available in the game anymore, or they were in the past, were the mid-level thresholds, you used to get sometimes expansion permits when you used to reach the mid-level thresholds from your level, but then he removed that. I don't know why. As I said, they've become really rare now, so you basically cannot get them from the mid-level threshold now. Another way that you could get expansion permits within the game in the past were expansion, um, I mean, the, the, the mystery boxes. So, for example, if I go on this farm, you will randomly find red boxes. You just have to tap on them. They will get opened and they will get you a random prize. So these are what I'm talking about. So once you tap on them, I got a ticket. So I think it was like the huge box. I'm not sure if they're still available in the mystery boxes. I haven't seen anyone getting them. But I feel like they're still present in the huge mystery box. But the chances are really, really, really low. Like maybe 1% to 2%. Alright guys, so for example, in this picture, you can see an expansion permit from the mystery box. So, as you can see, that you can probably get expansion permits from the mystery boxes. But as I said, the chances are really low, so this is definitely not an effective way to get expansion permits. 
Okay, now the first good way to get a lot of expansion permits within the game is the Farm Pass. So Farm Pass is, uh, was recently added in November 2020, and I feel like it's a really good feature that enables you to get so many cool things within the game. So you can get a total of four expansion permits, but remember, only if you purchase, and it's only going to cost you about $5, or maybe more, so you can get one expansion permit from your free road, and three expansion permits from your paid road. So I think this is such a cool feature to get a lot of expansion permits. Since they're rare, so imagine in one year you'll be able to get 48 expansion permits, even if you don't play the derby or don't do anything. So in my opinion, it's the best way to go. Just, you know, purchase a farm pass and you can easily get so many expansion permits. The next way to get expansion permits in the game is by your valley shop, a very famous way, of course, and I feel like almost 60% of the people play the valley just for the expansion permits. So for example, here you guys can see in the valley shop, I've already purchased one expansion permit. And you can see there's another one which is available. If I scroll down, there are, I feel like one and all right, so like three expansion permits I could get from this valley. And it's very random. Sometimes you can get one, sometimes three. And if you're lucky, you can get up to four or I don't know really about five, but maybe up to four expansion permits. The valley is also a very good place. I honestly don't care about the decorations. The only thing that I care about are expansion permits. So they're just going to cost you tokens. So I'm just going to purchase one. Here we go. Yay, that's so cool. So in this way, you can also get expansion permits within the game. The next way to get expansion permits in the game are by Wheel of Fortune expansion permit events. So for example, right here you guys can see this is the expansion, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, but currently there are no ex uh, expansion permits here. But sometimes there are special events during which there is one or maybe two expansion permits in the Wheel of Fortune. All you have to do is to spin it, and if you're lucky, you can easily get expansion permits. Alright guys, to show you here, you can see an expansion permit within the Wheel of Fortune. So you have to just spin it, and if you're lucky, you can actually win a Wheel of Fortune. And you can spend more diamonds to try your luck, and if you're lucky, you can even get more. So I think this is also a kind of a good way to get expansion permits in Heyday. The next way to get expansion permits in the game is by playing the derby, and in my opinion, this is the best way to get expansion permits. Almost every derby can get you one or maybe up to two expansion permits. And for those of you who don't know, Bingo Derby and the Bunny Derbies are the best way to get expansion permits. They can get you up to five expansion permits, and that's a fact. It's not like a myth, or it's not like something I'm saying in a doubt. It's actually true. I've tried it, but the thing is that you actually have to spend diamonds. So once you spend diamonds in reshuffling in the Bunny Derby or the Bingo there is a chance of winning up to five expansion permits and the people who have opened all their lanes are probably the ones who spend a lot of diamonds in the derby so if you want to get expansion permits and if you have diamonds then go ahead reshuffle and you can actually get a lot of expansion permits all right guys so here you can see this is a bingo derby and i'm getting a total of three expansion permits without reshuffling and if you reshuffle twice maybe more times you can get up to two more expansion permits so the chances of winning expansion permits and the bingo or the bunny lines are totally 100 percent so yeah if you want to get expansion permits you can spend diamonds and you will get them so in my opinion this is the best way to get expansion permits Another way to get expansion permits in the game is by opening the special event packages on Greg's farm. So recently there was an Easter egg hunt and I'm sure a lot of you guys opened all the eggs. So in one of those eggs there were two expansion permits. So yeah, this is also a really cool way to get expansion permits in the game. In the Christmas packages and in the Easter eggs or maybe in the Lunar Year gift boxes as well. Okay, so I literally forgot about the best way, the actual best way, and probably better than the Derby, the special Boat Scroll event. And this event is probably the rarest event in the game. It doesn't even happen anymore. I don't even think it happened in like three to four months. So when this event happens, it stays for 24 hours and you have a chance to win up to five expansion permits. All you have to do is to complete the boat orders. Once you complete a boat order, you can get one expansion permit. So you can get like five expansion permits. And I think this is such a cool event. I, I don't know why this doesn't happen anymore, but I remember in the past, this used to happen a lot of the times. So please, Heyday, can we have more of these events? That would be very, very nice. So. 
yeah, I hope so. And maybe in the future. Like here you guys can see, five over five rewards earned, which means I just collected five expansion permits by playing this event. All right, guys, those are all the possible ways you can actually get expansion permits in the game. Now, are they rare? Yes, they are, but they are not that hard to get. All it takes is struggle and hard work and a lot of weight. You have to play almost all the derbies. You have to spend a lot of diamonds. You have to participate in the valleys and do a lot of things. So if you keep doing these things, if you stay consistent by playing Heyday, so I think you can easily open all the lanes. It's not going to be that hard for you. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions about expansion permits or any kind of confusions, let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel for more Heyday videos. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.